I remember as a kid, you used to be able to hire a rowing boat, in a lake in the town, the mad bam that ran it would shout at the top of his head after half an hour. Right number 17 your time's up and you get. Has anyone at Celtic thought of doing this with Jota? Anyways back to the Celtic FC transfer news of the day. Celtic are linked with Nigerian striker. As the wait rolls on for more Celtic signings. Celtic target Alexandro Bernabai was sent off last night, for headbutting an opponent. Yeah, that will get you to the Celtic lad. They are obviously looking at Argentine left-backs. Pity Terry Butcher isn't still a manager in Scotland. Guys that go to the away games will get that one. He has got that capacity to get into the penalty area and score goals. Nice left foot, good with set pieces, quick, interesting. And again, you wonder if he is going to get rolled over physically, but this to me looks like an intelligent piece of scouting because I'm a sucker for a left foot. It just opens up the field so much if you have someone with a good left foot as he has. Celtic have added Blackburn Rovers attacker Tyres Dolan to their respective transfer shortlists, as per an update from TalkSport's Jeff Peters. More on that later. First, Celtic have inquired about the availability of Nigerian striker Stephen Odi, Al Nigeria Soxa. Com has reported today. The outlet believes that the boys have contacted Danish club Ranus in order to find out his asking price. After he scored 13 goals in all competitions for the Superliga club last season. Odi's contract in Denmark expires in 2024, and the outlet reports that Ranus are looking for a fee of around £3.5 million for the player. He had initially joined the club on loan from Henk last summer, but was quickly snapped up on a permanent basis midway through the campaign. Celtic are believed to be in the market for another striker this summer despite the presence of Kyogo Furuhashi and Jorgos Jakumakis. Dizen Maeda can also play through the middle, but has been more effective for the boys on the left flank. Odi is 24 and already has experience playing in four European leagues in Belgium, Switzerland, France and Denmark. His is another name to add to the transfer watch list this summer. Back to the Celtic target Blackburn Rovers ACE story. The versatile attacker operated on both wings for Rovers during the last campaign, whilst he was also tasked with playing as a striker and as a number 10. Featuring 34 times in the league last season, Dolan started 20 of those matches, scoring four times and providing a further three assists in that time. Celtic target Mohanad Gies is quite keen on a move to Parkhead in this summer transfer window, according to Sky Sports journalist Anthony Joseph. Reports last month suggested that Angie Postecoglou's side were in advance talks over the signing of 25-year-old this summer, and that with an offer being on the table, discussions had progressed quickly. Having sold Kieran Tierney to Arsenal a couple of years ago, Celtic have struggled to adequately replace the left-back, but in G's, they could find exactly the man to do so. What is perhaps most exciting about the Iraq international is his ability to deliver a real end product when going forward, having contributed 10 goals and 5 assists in his 87 games as a left-back during his career. Indeed, speaking to The Athletic, Swedish football journalist Frida Fagerlund said, it's not just that he's a good crosser. He's more of a playmaker. He loves to drift centrally and become almost another central midfielder. He reminds me a bit of Trent Alexander-Arnold and is a very modern fullback in his positioning. Gs would really suit the Scottish league, that quality, but also passion and aggression. At 25, G still has the peak years of his career ahead of him, and Postecoglou's eye for a signing in his first few windows as manager has certainly been encouraging to say the least, with the likes of Kyogo Furuhashi and Rio Hat 8 more recently delivering the good. Having played 171 games over his club career thus far, Gs could provide some real first-team depth and quality to Postecoglou's side at left-back for the coming season and years. So no one really has any idea 
who we are really going to get for that position. Celtic duo Anthony Rolston and Greg Taylor proved their burgeoning value to manager Angie Postacoglu throughout a glorious Premiership title win. Such was their outstanding form that Scotland boss Steve Clark started them both in games during the Nations League programme. Now former Celtic and Scotland skipper Tom Boyd believes the fullbacks will target a step up the levels again to perform admirably in the rarefied air of the Champions League. And he reckons the fact neither Ralston nor Taylor can lay claim to a guaranteed first-team place offers serious proof of the strength of the squad that Postacoglu is assembling. Boyd has been delighted by the progress and influence of the duo since the arrival of the Aussie manager. And we as Celtic fans can't wait to see what happens this coming season at Celtic. And on that note, have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Let's roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.